Top down bottom is Helisang of Wimbo. Look for the engage. Ghost water dive goes forward. A flash forward into Monica Sinchin. Explosion. Oh, no. Fnatic kill bottom. Fnatic kill top. He's going to land, but here comes Helisang straight onto the back line of Wimbo there with the follow up to CC. I kind of started doubting myself in UIO at one point. That am I like the problem, you know? Hillisang pulled Kaiser away, the quickness didn't hit, it gave humanoid time to flash, and now it's the Hillisang show. Making a winter day for me means so much. Fnatic topple G2, and are your spring split champions! I know now that I'm actually good, you know, and it, it means so much for me. Hillisang hoists it! At first, when I was like kind of asked like how would I feel if I joined Fnatic, and at first I didn't really feel like I was that good to join them since I just had like one team. I was in Unicorns of Love, and I didn't really win anything. And also, I'm like the type of person that I don't really like to change too much and like to like improve and fix where I am. Moving to Fnatic, I was very like scared in a way since I just left my my one and only team that I had, so it was a bit scary at first, but I felt like very welcomed in the team and I was just excited to see how, I, how I'm going to do in the, in the big team. The teleport is absolutely questionable, Melissa will go in, oh, Hillisang with the goal! At first when I joined, I felt like there were like a lot of big names like Broxa, Soas, Reckless and uh, Caps. But I felt like the guys, and especially Broxa, was very welcoming. I feel like they were like offering me st like stuff or like company in, in, in general. So it felt like very nice. In game, I felt more comfortable since all I've been doing in my life is playing League of Legends and like all the games, of course. But I knew how to play League and it, I felt like more comfortable when I was playing League. Yeah, we were doing quite well on the Rift, so it was, it was nice. I remember lifting the trophy 2018, Spring Split, and I felt like a lot of doubts and like fears in my head were like gone the moment I was walking on the stairs to the to the trophy. It felt like amazing. There were like a lot of fans trying to like to to reach me and stuff and it felt like I was in peace. Even though everything was so loud and so like exciting, I felt like very calm. And it it felt like we were like oh doing the same thing as a team and it was amazing. The fact that we did win both both splits in the same year, we just showed that we are the best team in Europe at that time. But it was very nice that we could show it again and not fail under pressure or anything. At first, I wasn't sure what to expect from Worlds since it was my first Worlds. For me, it was quite a crazy experience being on the stage where you are like in the air, just floating, just being the final like teams in front of the big crowd. You felt like like a hero in a way when you got on the stage and it was only two teams and a huge crowd, you knew this was the final, final match. I still remember it as one of my best experiences in league. I remember it as a good memory despite we like losing. I'm proud that we managed to get there since I think getting there is a huge achievement on its own. I think if I had to think about like all the highlights, it's quite um, I'm like not the person because I forget so easily. I remember so many like finals against G2 that there's something happening like team fighting like from a huge disadvantage and we just like turn it around or there's something happening crazy in the game we just like win it somehow. For example when we played against G2 and we me and Reckless like call for the back door on the on the Nexus and it was like so close and it was so exciting. Go, 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 go yeah. enemy base, enemy base, enemy base. I'm going yeah, I'll stop them, I'll stop them. Can we go? I'm basing. I'm dead. I'm basing. I'm gonna. I stand. didn't get base. I got base. Please, nearly, nearly, please, please, nearly, nearly, nearly. I can't stop that. I can't stop that. Keep hitting. Keep hitting. You have it. You have it. No! In bot lane, when I had to play with Bwipo, for example, like, I think we played GP Fido Sticks against Heimerdinger, and it was like 
crazy early in like level 2, level 3, we managed to kill them. Pupo was the player that got closest to me as a person. And also as a player, I feel like we were always having the same point of view. And even when we didn't have, I felt like it was so easy to talk to, like what we didn't, you know, align on. With Bwipo it was so easy to like find stuff that we could speak about and stuff to laugh about. What are these idiots doing? He's just not to hit your head. He has the keg on his arm. But he shakes the, the, the boot, the belly. Yeah, yeah, he does, but he has his arm in there. Yeah, it's like this. Bellerage, boom! What is that? I was looking for a on stage. Fight me. Yikes. How tall are you? Okay, don't fight me. You crushed me. Beto, dodge my foot. Oh. Oh. Excuse me, Batman gang coming in! <laughs> it's very hard to not be a friend of Bwipwa, if that makes sense. So it was just a very natural and easy way to to bond with some with, with somebody like him. I remember playing a lot of board games with Joey, Dylan, Caps, Sauce, even Bwipo. It was always nice when when well, Joey was so excited to play some board games, I feel like. The Spice Challenge. Oh my god, no, please, something else. <laughs> this was my worst memory of Fanatic, bro. <laughs> Where, like, two, I, I just lost almost two, two members in the team, you know, and myself just by tasting it. <coughs> you need to be committed. You need to go. Yes, <laughs> No, no! <laughs> that's not eating. That's not good, by the way. You should try this, that Spice Challenge with the new team. No. Before, no. before we play you guys. I'm banned. No. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when we went to monkey climbing with Mitty. That was pretty nice. Where we had to like climb the trees. I remember driving uh, where we had to like speed up like as fast as you can and then you have to stop as fast as you can. And you had to like, like park yourself in between like two cones when you were stopping. Very good. That was pretty nice. And like, you had to turn, and if, I felt like the car would just like roll over, but the car never rolled over. <laughs> oh my god. Just keep it slow, keep it slow. You feel the g-forces, don't you? Yes. Sorry. Slow, 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 slow. <laughs> oh my god. Don't, 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 don't crash into them. <laughs> Holy shit, man. I'm so stressed out right now. Oh my god, you're gonna hit it. You're gonna hit it. <laughs> Slow, 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 break, break, break. Okay, nice. And stop here, stop here. Stop here, stop here, stop here, stop here. Yeah, I feel like there were so many, so many, like, good memories in Fanatic that I can't really think of just few to, like, summer it up. I think for me, when it comes to, like, friendship in Fnatic, I, I could say that everyone, I don't have, like, one person that I could say, like, this person didn't, like, really become a friend of mine. I feel like everyone, like right now that walked in Fanatic, I could just go and talk to him freely. All I want to say is that I'm extremely grateful for all that Fanatic has done for me. I'm just very happy that I was part of Fanatic and extremely grateful. Thank you for all the fans that supported me and Fanatic back in the um, 2018 to 2022 and I'm extremely grateful for all the support I got. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna cry now. Yeah. I mean, it's not like I'm dead or you're dead. Yeah.